Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is pocket versus face mill. So in this video, I want to show you the differences between the face mill operation and the pocketing, pocketing operation, and when you might want to use one versus the other. So um, it's a very simple difference, but it's, uh, it's something that comes up a lot, so I wanted to make a video on it. Um, so let's take a look at this part here. It's basically just a flat base that has these three bosses in it, these three islands. Now, if I wanted to just clear this face right here, let's say I just wanted to finish the face, and I wanted to use a face mill operation. The setup of the face mill operation, just kind of a review, is basically go into new geometry, we choose our type. So whether I choose any one of these and I'm trying to face down to here, uh, the result is essentially the same. Now, the, uh, we're just gonna choose one here that looks a little more specific, and that's just gonna be the profile operation. So I click on profile and define this profile geometry for facing. I wanna do this entire face here, so I'll just do a constant Z propagation. And that's what I would get. It includes that boss there and there, but it doesn't include that one, so I can just include that one with a secondary chain. Now, I've already done that, so I'm not gonna save this geometry, but essentially this is how you would set up the face mill operation. Setting those edges as open doesn't really do anything to the face mill operation. Tool is just a two inch face mill. Levels is right down to that face. And under technology, I'm doing a hatch. And if we take a look at that tool path, it's basically just hatching back and forth along the x-axis. And you'll notice that even though I told it that the outside edge of this boss and those edges there are, um, are part of the geometry, there's bosses there, it still took those out. And if we take a look at this in a wireframe, you can see the toolpath is going through there. The reason is, is that face mill understands the geometry to be completely open. It is supposed to be the top face of something. That's the majority of the time that you're using face mill. And that's why it's just completely clearing out the part. Even though I put those bosses in there, it's just totally wiped out the part. So how would you face this without using, uh, without you know, uh, going through those, those bosses? Um, the way I usually describe face mill in the training sessions is that face mill is essentially just a type of pocketing operation where the geometry is completely open. So, the, the opposite of that would be just go with a pocketing operation. And that's what we're doing here. So I turn that off. Let's open up this pocket operation. So if we take a look at the geometry this time, I've actually selected the same geometry, but I went ahead and actually set some of these as open edges. So the only closed edges, the only walls is the center boss, and then these outside edges of these bosses. So essentially it's the same geometry, but this case it's listening to me when I say open versus closed edges. The tool is the same, the two inch end mill. The levels are the same levels. And under technology, I'm still doing a hatch style. So it's gonna go back and forth along the X axis and I'm doing a finishing operation. With the open pocket tab, I told it to approach from the outside and just extend uh, past the edges by 10%. So I'm basically kind of replicating the setup inside the face mill. But the major difference between these two tool paths is that it's gonna listen to me with regards to the bosses. So you can see that it's it's zigzagging back and forth, but it's avoiding those bosses. So essentially that is the main difference here between face mill and pocketing. One is almost, you can consider it as the full version of the toolpath, that's the pocket, and the face mill is a specialized one where all the geometry is supposed to be open. It's the top face. So if you want to finish that edge, just create a pocketing toolpath, set your open edges, and set your step over and it'll look like as if you're just finishing it. So the fact that you're using a face mill doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use the face mill toolpath. You can use the face mill tool in a pocketing operation and achieve the same sort of finishing toolpath. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this video series on YouTube. Thanks for watching.